Hi, I'm Jason Stahl, and I'm here with Joe Keen, automotive video producer at Babcock's Media and an ASC certified technician. We're going to talk today about refinish operations and ADAS next in the AirPro Diagnostics Garage. In our last video, we discussed considerations collision repairs should take regarding electronics when body repairs are being performed. Today, we're going to be discussing what to consider during refinish operations as it relates to ADAS. Joe, refinishing a vehicle is just not like it used to be, right? That's right. With today's vehicles and the sophisticated electronics within them, a collision repairer should always look up the OEM repair procedures, even for paint. Can you give me an example of this? Sure. A repairer should be aware of mill thickness on a bumper, for example, as some automakers like Ford and General Motors have released position statements on the threshold mill thickness as it could affect the safe functionality of the blind spot sensors. Has this bumper been refinished over the OEM paint once already? Mill thickness needs to be measured before any work is performed. Also keep in mind, if you have to perform a repair on the bumper, and if it is directly over one of the blind spot sensors, you may be required to replace the bumper versus repair it. Additionally, the removal of certain parts to paint or refinish can trigger DTC codes and calibration requirements that were not considered in the initial repair plan. Joe, where can our viewers find those requirements? Always refer to the OEM repair procedures. You can also find the bumper position statements and more at oemonestop.com. That's oemonestop.com. It is a great resources for shops today. In our next video, we're going to discuss the reassembly process and things to check to make sure the ADAS systems are working. I'm Jason Stahl. Thanks for watching.